Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA, predicted phenotype, traits and GD match results of an Iron Age North African uh, with paternal lineage EM81, it's a very typical lineage for North Africans and Mediterraneans today. This is what he is predicted to look like. With uh, Nashakot, he is predicted to have blue eyes with amber center, Greek-shaped nose and brown hair. Uh, with Wysek, he's actually predict predicted to have blue eyes and brown hair and white skin. And with Snipper Free, he's predicted to have brown eyes, brown hair and white skin. Now, out of those predictions, blue eyes, blue eyes with an amber center or brown eyes, I think blue eyes with an amber center is the most uh, normal, the most um, accurate prediction. What's interesting about this genome is that he's got blue eye haplotype 1 and blue eye haplotype 2, which is the typical uh, haplotype that's responsible for most of the blue eyes in Northern and Central Europeans, and blue eye haplotype 3, which is pretty much exclusive to Northern and Central Europe. So it's surprising that he, being a North African, had blue eye haplotype 3. He was a carrier of familiar Mediterranean fever mutation, which is a uh, condition that mostly affects Mediterraneans. He's got... Uh, the European no-go learner mutation in drd 2 sporofrenatin pro variation, so lower risk of schizophrenia, higher odds of being a no-go learner, uh, less D2 dopamine receptors in the brain. He's got A2A2 genotype in TAC1, which is once again a very typical genotype for European and pretty much every human. Uh, monkeys, chimpanzees, they tend to have A1A1 here. Uh, he's got the warrior gene in Comtes Valmet variation, which means a val, -val I did Determined that from his genotype at a nearby location at 4633, RS 4633. The implications of this genotype is that he would have quicker reuptake of dopamine, norepinephrine, and various other hormones, and less dopamine and norepinephrine in brain, uh, which means problems with attention and motivation. However, advantages when it comes to stress resiliency, resiliency to stressful situations. And he did not have the sociopath gene in OXTR, which I once again determined through imputation. I imputed his genotype in this main variation by looking at a variation that was nearby. Um, he does not have the European lactose persistence mutation. Nothing surprising here because he's not a European and only Europeans have it. Um, he does not have the mutation that protects against myopia, which is kind of interesting. Uh, out of all the European mutations, this is the one you would most expect to see in a North African. And he's got BEH2 and BEH3. I'm showing it to you here uh, on code gen. Uh, very surprising stuff, especially BEH3. That's just shocking because it's very exclusively Northern European. Moving on to polygenic traits. He's got a pretty high risk score for Crohn's disease. Uh, he's got a super high risk score for brain aneurysm. Uh, he's got an average risk score for coronary heart disease. He's got an average risk score for type 2 diabetes. He's got a very high risk score for gout. Uh, he's got a pretty high, slightly above average risk score for schizophrenia. A high risk score for asthma. Uh, he's got a below average risk score for Parkinson's. And he's got a below average risk score for bipolar disorder. Now, this is what he scores with Eurogene's K13. Uh, this calculator actually does not have a component that's meant to represent North Africans. That's why North Africans get modeled as a mixture of Mediterraneans and Sub-Saharan Africans. He is closest to Moroccans here with the Oracle. And he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Moroccan plus Sardinian or Moroccan plus some kind of European. So that means relative to Moroccans, he's got a little bit of, a little bit of Southern European shift. This is what he scores with MDLPK11, uh, mainly scoring basal and Neolithic, but he's also scoring 5.5% Caucasus and 7% European hunter-gatherer admixture. From my understanding, this is pretty typical for Iron Age North Africans to score some Caucasus and European. But a uh, very funny oracle here. According to the oracle, he's actually a mixture of Levant, Neolithic, plus various Neanderthals. And the reason this, ha this happens, you know why this happens? Do you know why he's getting modeled as a mixture of Levant plus Neanderthal? It's because Neanderthals actually score 100% or close to 100% Sub-Saharan African on this calculator. And this calculator does not have actual African samples aside of Mota. You know, the more I do these videos, the more I realize not to take these uh, G25 or GD match results too seriously. Uh, anyway, I simulated G25 for him, which you will find in the description of this video. With the G25, he is closest to various Tunisians and Moroccans. Uh, this is what he scores with Pandiana LK10. Only 3.5% CHG here. 
he is closest to Moroccans followed by Algerians with the Oracle and he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Algerian plus Sardinian or Algerian plus Spanish uh, which means he's got a little bit of Spanish admixture or Spanish shift relative to what's typical for North Africans today. This is what he scores with Ponzianel K12. Uh, he's actually scoring 8.17% European Hunter Gatherer and 3.28% Caucasus Hunter Gatherer which would be uh, admixture that he probably got from some kind of Indo-European mixes, maybe from the Greeks, maybe from somebody else, I don't know, but he, he seems to have some Indo-European ancestry. He's getting modeled as a mixture of Saharawi plus Sardinian or Berber plus Sardinian, basically a mixture of North African and Southern European. This is what he's scoring with Ancient Eurasia K6. Uh, we see here he's scoring 4.6% Ancestral North Eurasian, which is not a component you would expect to find in North Africa. But nonetheless, it is present there. Uh, with the Oracle, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of, among other things, Anatolian Neolithic plus Mota, uh, which a lot of people believe that Berbers can be modeled as a mixture of sort of Anatolian Neolithic farmers plus, plus something from Eastern Africa. And this seems to confirm that. It seems that you can indeed model this individual as a mixture of Anatolian Neolithic plus Mota Hunter Gatherer, which, by the way, I've made a video on Mota. It is on my channel. This is what he's scoring with Gedrosia K3. We can see that he's scoring around 20% Sub-Saharan African on top of around 80% West Eurasian. Now, uh, some of this Sub-Saharan African is because he has actual uh, like East African and West African admixture, of course, but some of it is just because due to, due to the affinities of these Tafaralt or Ibero-Marusians or even Neolithic farmers of Europe to Sub-Saharan African populations. So not all of it is legit Sub-Saharan African admixture. I'd say maybe 12% of it is legit and the other 8% is just due to affinities of other components. Um, now, thanks for watching my video until the end. You can download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video.